Keystone Hatchery is situated in the KwaZulu-Natal Midlands of South Africa. The hatchery is equipped with state-of-the-art machinery ensuring a hatching rate of around 85%. Eggs arrive from farms and are carefully inspected. Workers sort out any eggs with odd shapes, dirt, or cracks. Accepted eggs are stored in a cool room at around 19 degrees Celsius 66 degrees Fahrenheit to prevent them from starting incubation prematurely. Humidity is maintained between 48% to 50%. After a period of storage, eggs are loaded onto trolleys which can hold up to 5,060 eggs each. These trolleys are then placed into incubator machines called setters. Inside the setters, the eggs are kept at a constant temperature of 38 degrees Celsius 100 degrees Fahrenheit for optimal chick development. This temperature is crucial and requires close monitoring to avoid overheating. The eggs are then incubated. During this stage, oxygen passes from the air to the developing embryo through small holes in the egg shells, called pores, and carbon dioxide passes from the embryo to the outside air. The eggs are turned every hour, mimicking a mother hen turning her eggs in the nest. This turning process continues for 18 days. After 18 days in the setters, the trolleys are moved to another set of machines called hatchers. Hatcher baskets are placed inside these machines where the chicks will eventually hatch. After a certain period of incubation, the chicks hatch from the eggs. Once the chicks have hatched, chicks are likely sorted and checked for health before being sent to farms. Keystone Hatchery has the capacity to incubate 379,000 eggs per week. This capacity was achieved after a recent expansion that doubled the hatchery's square footage to 16,000. The hatchery also has the potential to grow even further in its current location. The average incubation period for chicken eggs is 21 days. However, slight variations may occur depending on the breed. This timeline will let you know what to do and when to have the best chance of hatching healthy chicks. Please note that the number of eggs that can be hatched at once may depend on the specifics of the hatchery's operation, such as the number of incubators and their individual capacities. Traditional and modernized poultry inspections are two different methods used in the poultry industry to ensure the safety and quality of poultry products. There are some key differences between the two. In traditional inspection, a Canadian Food Inspection Agency inspector inspects the carcass exterior, the abdominal cavity, and the corresponding viscera of each carcass. Only one station is permitted for operators of newly registered poultry abattoirs under traditional inspection. The inspection is performed by government inspectors. Under the Modernized Poultry Inspection Program MPIP, the people performing the inspections are provided by the plant, not the federal government. The number of inspection stations is not reduced in modernized inspection. Modernized inspection may involve new technologies and methods to improve the efficiency and effectiveness of the inspection process.
The Yamasa ECB-35 is a machine designed to efficiently wash, classify, and candle eggs, specifically aimed at smaller poultry farms with limited manpower and space. Eggs are likely loaded manually onto a conveyor belt or feeding tray at the beginning of the machine. The machine might have a built-in candling unit with a strong light source. As the eggs move along the conveyor, the candler illuminates each egg, allowing operators to inspect the interior for cracks, blood spots, or developing embryos. Eggs with defects can be automatically rejected or separated for further inspection. The ECB-35 utilizes brushes made of nylon to gently clean the exterior surface of the eggs. Water and possibly a mild sanitizing solution are likely sprayed onto the eggs as they pass through the washing brushes. After washing, the eggs are likely passed through a drying section with airflow to remove excess moisture and prevent the growth of bacteria. A mechanical weighing system separates eggs into different categories based on their weight. This allows producers to group eggs of similar size for optimal incubation or market value. Once processed, the cleaned, sorted, and candled eggs are likely deposited onto a collection tray or conveyor belt for further handling or packaging. Loading a herd of cows onto a truck for transportation involves several steps to ensure the safety and well-being of the animals. The cows destined for transport are separated from the herd. This might involve herding them into a holding pen or corral. The cows are encouraged to enter the truck one at a time, ideally in a single file line. This helps prevent stampeding or injuries. In some cases, reluctant cows might be gently guided using ropes or prods to encourage them onto the truck. Workers ensure the cows navigate the ramp safely, avoiding slipping or falling. Sometimes temporary sheeting is used to cover the ramps and provide better footing for the animals. Once enough cows are loaded, dividers or partitions might be placed within the truck to prevent overcrowding and injuries during transport. In some cases, headlocks might be used to restrain particularly aggressive or restless animals. However, their use is becoming less common due to animal welfare concerns. Namibia might have specific regulations regarding headlocks. Namibian regulations regarding animal transport might differ based on the distance traveled and the final destination. It's important to consult the relevant authorities for the latest guidelines. Some farms might have specialized cattle crushes or loading chutes to facilitate the loading process more efficiently and calmly for the animals. The Mini Mix 2000 by Schmeying Landtechnik is a tractor-mounted feed mixing shovel designed for small to medium-sized stables or for feeding small groups of animals. The Mini Mix 2000 features two auger screws, these augers rotate to pick up, mix, and distribute feed ingredients like hay, silage, grain, and concentrates. The machine is likely equipped with a hopper or trough for loading the various feed components. A dosing mechanism possibly controlled hydraulically or electronically, allows the operator to regulate the amount of feed dispensed. This ensures accurate feeding portions for different animal groups. The machine might have a hydraulically operated scraping blade at the front to help gather and load feed ingredients from bunkers, bales, or feed storage areas. Once mixed, the feed is likely discharged through an adjustable chute on the side of the mixer, allowing for targeted distribution into feeding troughs or mangers. The chute might be hydraulically controlled to position it for left or right-hand side unloading. 